Hey YouTube, I wanna say thank you because there are thousands of people signed up for the free private training. It's only a couple days away. If you're not signed up for it, there's a link below. Go sign up right away. Do you watch these videos for ASMR? Do you watch these videos because they help you relax? Well, guess what? I invented a technique that allows you to access that medicine that's already inside of you without having to watch a video, without having to hear anything. It's right there. It's an easy technique to learn. It only takes one breath to activate this medicine. I made this video for you. Sign up below, hurry up, go right now. It's only a couple days away. I don't know if it's gonna be there forever. This is your chance, go do it. I'll see you there, bye. Oh, let's catch it up, let's catch the video up real quick. So far we're here with Sean. We had a herniated disc in 2013. We've only had one major flare since then, but it does flare occasionally when you're not exercising as much, but lately, it's been difficult to exercise. You haven't been exercising as much. It's a little bit more stiff. And, uh, and sometimes when you get those flares, it causes prostate tension or prostate symptoms. Yeah. What's happening up in the left shoulder? Yeah, I definitely get like a pinch, um, I guess, between my shoulder blade here. And you notice a tingling in your fingertips, weakness of your hands, wrists? No. Headaches ever? Neck pain? Like neck stiffness and tightness. And right now I feel like you know, I tend to crack my neck and if I go to the left side, it feels like normal and it feels like it would crack. And if I turn right, it does feel like it's like strained. Now, uh, stand with your feet straight away towards me and then go ahead and march in place. All right, very good. Okay, looking at the feet, I don't see any rotations. I do see your left knee wants to come out just a little bit. So your hip is probably turned there in that direction. Okay, otherwise you can stop there. I'm gonna touch the bottom of your feet, okay? Sure. Arches are intact. That's fantastic. Go put your hands on your hips like this. All right, I'm going to replace your fingers with mine. Go ahead and release your hands. Good. We've got a high left hip. Okay, but I can definitely tell you from here, you have a little bit of just that forward head, looking down, computer stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. High left ear. Those are very close. Slightly higher on the left. Close your eyes. Just watching for postural sway from this position. There it goes to the left and forward, left again. Recorrection. Forward and back, forward and back, mostly forward and back. It's pretty steady, but mostly forward and back. I don't, you can open your eyes. I don't think we have any hypermobility there. That's excellent. Let's determine which way the pelvis is rotated. You're going to feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings here, tracing up to the glute fold. Good. We're lower on the left. Lower on the left. So everything's pointing to the left PI, which is uncommon. We'll see. You're not left-handed, are you? I am left-handed. Oh, you are. Yes. Okay, let's look from the top view now. Any external internal rotations? It looks like it's externally rotated on the left. Bring your, toe, bring your feet together so that your toes are as even as possible. Good. And still external on the left. It's very close to even though. Or excuse me, hypertonicity in both glutes or, uh, is, is even. It's not just a tiny touch of hypertonicity, more on the right, right in the center of the glute. Uh, yeah, extending. Okay, now, so we do have a little bit of that postural change. But the, your thoracic kyphosis here is slightly accentuated. You don't have any of that humping up here, which is good. All of this postural change is here in the mid thoracic. Mm -hmm. Not quite sway back though. Not quite. Just just an accentuated thoracic curvature. From left to right, I can see that your your head is just slightly translated to the left from here. So no car accidents. No, no major ones. A lot of increased tone on the right side here. This is where, let's see. Do these feel the same to you throughout the thoracic spine? Uh, on the right there, I just had some, like, not soreness, but. Tender? Yeah, tender. Yeah. Tender, and the muscles are slightly accentuated on the right side as well, That which would be normal for a left-hander. No one's perfectly symmetrical, Sean. <laughs> All right, now, my hands might be a little bit too cold for this right now. They are. I'm, I'm not getting anything accurate here. My hands are too cold because I, I was outside. 
but your uh, the skin moisture level is very consistent and symmetrical from left to right. No excessive dryness or, or damp heat here, which is good, especially for weather like today. And rechecking the scapula and the seated definitely have a higher on the left. Okay, that's good. I'm going to dig in a little bit mm -hmm. deeper towards the muscles. spots there. Good. You said L4, L5, right? Yeah. Yep. Top of the sacrum is a little unhappy here. SI joint top, any tenderness here? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Good. Let's go lower SI joint, any tenderness here? No. It, there is a little bit of edema there, though. It's yeah, a little it feels, bubbliness. Yeah. What about this right side? Do you feel tenderness here? That feels better than the left. <laughs> okay, it's so a left side tenderness. Top right. It's okay. L5. Oh, yeah. L4 is restricted. How does that feel to you? Is that tender? It's not tender, but I feel like there's, like, no cartilage there or something. I feel like my... Back is just gonna snap. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, yeah, you're you're feeling the stuckness, you know, the yeah. back of it, or, or you're saying it feels like it's gonna snap. That's yeah, the it tension. Feels like bone on bone or something. Yeah, yeah. It's actually just muscles that are are contracted so hard that they feel like um, because they're trying to protect you. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and muscles, even though are soft tissue, when a muscle's contracted. You know, like rigor mortis, like after someone dies and yeah. there's no energy in the muscles to keep it loose anymore, muscles can become extremely hard. And that's why it feels like it's going to snap or why it feels like it's bone on bone. Even though you had a herniated disc, you probably still have some spacing in there. You're too old. You're too young Yeah. to have it to be bone on bone down there yet. Unless you played football or you were a power lifter or uh, jumped out of an airplane a million times. <laughs> None of the above. Soccer and basketball were my sports. But... Good. And then that, that right side tone is, is kind of global here. It's throughout your thoracic and lumbar spine. Finding a similar pattern all the way down throughout the spine. So, so having increased tone here in the thoracic spine on the right side is normal for a left-hander. And even though it's common, it's not really normal to have increased tone on one entire side of the body. And, uh, and that's because your body's bracing, it's protecting for the compromised disc in that level. Mm -hmm. A little bit of stuff, a little bit of T1, but not bad. It was really T3, T3 4 on the left. I had the, the largest palpable. It's a little bit lower down, actually. And this is right at the apex of the thoracic spine here, where the curve is at its greatest. So mm -hmm. there's there's just tension there, because your body, because the the spine is like a bridge, and uh, and the the muscles are like the wires. And so you have concrete, and you have a uh, cable. And so they're both dynamically participating in the stability of your body, of your posture. And if one of these systems become, becomes compromised, then it'll affect the other. Yeah, like right in there is where I get that pinch feeling. Yeah, the pinch that's coming around to the front that indicates rib, and ribs attached to the spine. So it may not necessarily be a shoulder thing exactly, even though we'll adjust mm. your shoulder today, but that's good. That makes it more simple. That most likely adjusting your spine will take care of that. All right, nice gentle breathing. Okay, I'm gonna bend your knees. We're gonna, we're gonna raise this up. Good, right, short, crosses over to the left. I'm gonna go like this. Do you feel any pain in your low back there? Uh, it's starting to get tight. Left side only or middle? Mm, do it again if you don't mind. Uh, of course. Middle. Middle. Middle bit of external on the right. It's possibly an eye on the right. Do you have any pain discomfort here? No pain. Here. A little more discomfort. 
a little bit more. Um, L5 here. That scares me. L4 here. Both of those are tight. Okay. Which one more? Here. That one's more tender, and then the other one is more stiff. Okay, one is more tender, one is more stiff. Okay, which one is more tender here, right or yeah. left? The right. Right L5, right or left? Right. Right L4 and L5. Which segment is it going to be? <laughs> Tender things means things are injured, you know, the feeling of pain. Stiffness is different. Stiffness is sometimes typical of arthritis, but it's also uh, typical of muscle bracing. So I think even though the L4, L5 disc is what herniated, which segment are we going to adjust is the question. And right now it looks like L5. Let's find out which side. Which is more tender here, right or left? Mm, right. PR. Which is more tender here, left or right? Left. P, R, S. All right, so, based on the 27 different exams and six different techniques I just used, <laughs> and also your history, which counts for 75% of the diagnosis, <laughs> right short stays short suggests that you have a, um, a, a rotated ilium on the right. It's gone backwards like this. And that your L5 has gone to the right. And it's also turned, I said PRS, this way. And so what happened is, is, is this one comes back and the L5 has followed it over. And then the, it's a superior spine. So it's good. So actually, which when you had it, which leg, mm. did you have um, sciatic pain down the legs? Not bad, but I would get on my right leg more. Right than, leg. Okay, yeah. good. That makes sense. Good. Glad you said that, or else I would have to start over and find a new diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gone to the right and superior, which means this is the side of the open wedge. That's where the disc was mm. bulging out, pushing or leaking onto the nerves, pressure down the right. But, you know, the, the techniques will all argue which one of these is actually the primary. Mm. I just adjust them both. Why leave anything on the table? Especially if you drove all the way from New Jersey. Yeah. We got... <laughs> Can't leave anything on the table. You can't come back next week. We have to fix it. Down. Good. Can we check? I'm going to push back into that left hip. Do you still feel that discomfort there? No. It sounded like you did. <laughs> no. We're doing. Trap fiber is a big muscle. It comes all the way down here in the thoracic spine, all the way out to the ends of the shoulders. Right or left? The right felt more tender. Yeah, so that, that right side hypogenicity is every segment of the spine, every region, cervical, thoracic, lumbar. So you really favor one side. And that's probably, and even though that's normal, we all favor one side, but it's probably been accentuated over the years after the injury and it sounds like you're 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 pretty careful about your back mm -hmm.
All right, we're gonna start above the apex of the curve here because this is the most tense. So we're gonna work our way into the tension. So we're gonna start at the top of the thoracic spine. Nice and gentle breathing. We're gonna follow your breath just like that. Sean, at the end of your breath, we're gonna push a little bit harder and crack it a little bit more than that. Good, and sinking in. Good. Oh, good. Good. Good motion there, not a whole lot of resistance. Go ahead and get a breath in. And out. Go ahead and sink in. Perfect. Oh, oh good. Okay, now moving down to the lower, lower aspect of the curve. Deep breath in here. Good. Shoulders relax as you breathe out. Okay, we're gonna try that one one more time. This time, pull your belly button up to your spine. Yeah. Just pull your belly button up. Good. Lean back as you blow it out. Lean back, lean back, lean back. Good. Oh, all the way down. There. Perfect. Oh. That was a tough one, huh? It feels good. Breathing in through your nose and out. Good shoulders coming up here and sinking in. Bring down a little bit. Good. Oh, yeah. Bring it back. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. Nice, gentle breathing, sinking in. You're doing a great job. You're nice and relaxed right now. Gentle, gentle, letting it all go. Oh, good, there's more in there. There's one more. Good, shoulders and hips sinking. Let's get right on top of that guy right there. Go right there, let the shoulders go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that one was stuck for a while, I feel like. Let's test the left side first and see where we need to push. Shoulders relax, hips relax. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. So over here at two. Good shoulders and hips. Good. Three, four, five. It's all at the top. Three, four. Good. A little push. Oh my God. Oh. 
There's a lot there. Get a little hole here. Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> digestion uh, so it was notoriously bad but recently in the last like year I've kind of gotten changed, better hang of it changed your diet yeah is that an aura ring yeah how is it okay how's your hrv uh, you know I'm working not... on it <laughs> working on it and down okay this is a full spine adjustment and your hips are held in place by the pins I'm going to use the towel here to support your neck. As you breathe out, we're going to pull in this direction like that. All you have to do is keep your teeth together, okay? You good? Good. Okay, following the breath as you breathe out. Very nice. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, wow. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, and it's like the fire that ran up my back, like where the all the tension was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. You want to feel it when oh. it hurts the most. Wow. Oh, I've never felt that before. <laughs> it was insane. It's true. Stand up, walk around a little bit. See how it feels. Oh, oh man, new spine. <laughs> that's true. How's it feel? Okay, now that I'm standing up, I do feel like more in my lower back, but not in a good way. I mean, in a good way, not in a bad way. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, on the table, I just felt it go up here, but I definitely feel like it was adjusted down there too now. Relaxed, it feels looser. Good. Um, yeah, more mobile. And, keep pushing. Right side push. Good. 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 Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. We're going to lean forward just a little bit here. Let the shoulder relax. Just kind of sink. Good. Right side here. Okay, relax. Good. A little bit flatter here. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Pretty good results, actually. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs>
Okay, so that was a very good adjustment. Everything that we needed to crack, cracked mm -hmm. perfectly. But I know that we took care of everything that needed to be take care, taken care of today. I'm gonna write down a couple things um, for some prostate supplements I think you could, um, mm -hmm. you could consider as a possibility. And other than that, I would expect, I mean, like, this is perfect. You're going to go back, you're going to do yoga, you already know how to do yoga. Yeah. All you have to do is stretch, 10 minutes a day at least. Yeah.